If you'd love to learn how to harness the energies associated with August the 27th till September the 2nd, then stay tuned because I have a beautiful week full of energies that you don't want to miss. Hello my beautiful MK Love fam and welcome back to another weekly angel guidance episode. And if this is your first time watching, my name is Melanie Kate Love, the self-love makeover artist. And today we're going to be going through two phases of the moon. So we already had the full moon which happened either your Saturday night or Sunday depending on where you are in the world. Anyway, so it is a full moon in Pisces. So if you haven't yet released your blockages, then this is the perfect time to continue working on them. We already go into Monday where we have the releasing phase of the moon. This is when we release anything that no longer serves our highest good. This is also a perfect time of the moon to practice forgiveness and why so many of you message me and you let me know that you listen to my forgiveness heals guide a visualization at the time of the moon, which was incredible. So that's going to take us all the way through to Wednesday. So Monday to Wednesday, we're working on releasing our blockages. Then on Thursday, we move into the disseminating moon. This is asking us to receive abundance from expected and unexpected sources. So this is beautiful. So it's like our intentions that we set at the new moon and then we we planned out how we were going to take action. Then we took action and then we trusted that it was going to happen. We released anything that didn't serve us. And now we're going to receive abundance, which is ah, how exciting. All right. So that's kind of like the overview of the week in terms of the faces of the moon. So today let's use the Shadowscapes Tarot, which is my absolute favorite deck. And we're just going to see what we need to know in sync with the moon. Okay, so let's see what we need to know. All right, angels, what do we need to know for the full moon in three degrees and 12 minutes of Pisces? Pisces is, if you didn't watch last week, Pisces is a water sign. It's the most emotional sign of the whole zodiac. It's also number 12, which means we're coming to the end of a completion, an end of an era, an end of a cycle, an end of a chapter. All right, wow, did you see that? That card literally just flipped. Ooh, okay, so we have the Knight of Wands. Ooh, this is interesting. This is in terms of the releasing stage. This could actually mean maybe you have been, maybe you've been like rushing, maybe you've been rushing down. Hmm. Maybe it's releasing the need to do things so quickly. I feel like a lot of you have a lot of impatience and maybe this is just an opportunity for you to be like, okay, you know, you've been working re really, really hard, but maybe you just need to take time to just breathe. But we're not in the breathing phase of the moon. I just feel like things have just been moving a little bit too quickly. I feel like some of you can handle it and others of you can't. So release however, the, like the pace of whatever you're working on needs to go. Ooh, okay, let's get some clarity. The Knight of Wands, that's also like working towards your passion. It's like lots of movement towards your passion. Maybe you've been working too hard and you need to just, you know, just instead of working hard, why can't you work smarter? Ooh, speaking of that, that is so interesting that that just came up because I've been thinking this week, I've, I'm fully booked for readings and have been for the last two weeks. So that's like three weeks being fully booked, which is amazing. But what I am learning is that, that I can take those bookings, but I need to have a smarter system. So instead of having them record it and then I send them to you, I'm just thinking, I'm just gonna do them live. <laughs> so if you want to have a live booking with me, I have some spots available for the week after this. So week after this, so that will be September the 3rd, that'll be the week beginning. I'm gonna do them live because I'm like, I've been working hard, but I'm not working smarter. And I'm like, and plus I would love to chat with you guys live instead of me writing back to email after email and that takes so much time. That's so interesting that that came up. Ah, amazing. So it's like working smarter, not harder. It's like, do you have any systems in place or can you delegate to someone? Because it's like, yeah, you're on a journey. This is exactly where you need to go. But I really think you need to clean up your vibration and release the way that it's always been done. Like for almost a year. How long have I been reading for? I started my business at the end of September. Oh my God, almost a year I've been doing private readings for you guys. 
and it's always been that way. And I was like, should I change it? Because you know what, I'm moving into coaching soon. It's like, dude, you need to work smarter, not harder, because I'm spending too much time on the readings and not enough time developing um, the one-on-one -on -one online coaching program. Ah, that's interesting. How does that apply to you? That was the, the Knight of Wands. All right, clarity please for the Knight of Wands for the releasing phase of the moon. Thank you. Ooh, now we have the Three of Wands. This one kind of reminds me, it's like, release the need to have it all figured out. You don't have to have everything figured out. You just need to surrender to the process and have infinite trust in the universe. Can you see all of these um, different ones here? This is like people who have like tried to make it out but never actually achieved their dreams. And, and it's like, if you continue walking, the path will just appear. You know, you don't need to know how it's going to appear. You just need to trust. Um, how does that fit in with the last card? So working smarter, I feel like this is all about trust. And this is also kind of like a celebration. It's like, do you know that I am un like, I don't think people realize that a lot of you are now becoming unstoppable. Like I've someone messaged me on Instagram this week and said, Mel, I just had my very first Claire audience experience. It's like, yes, love, you didn't know how it was gonna happen, but you surrendered to the process and you had infinite trust in the universe that you know, when the time was right, divine timing, everything was gonna work out for you. And I feel like this is just a reminder. It's like, okay, you're like surveying this beautiful land and you know like where you're headed. It's like, you've got the long-term vision. You've got that dream in your mind and you're like, okay, this is what I need to work on this month to get me there. Maybe what you had set out for your intuition, uh, intuition, your intention for the beginning of this moon cycle, maybe it didn't manifest the way that you thought. Um, Maybe things you just took a little bit of a detail, but you learned that, but now you're like, okay, I'm gonna be working smarter. And I know that I need to trust my intuition because th that's what I need to do to refine my vibration. I'm still on the destination. Um, I'm, I'm still on track to get to the destination. It's just looking a little bit different, but it's going to be better in the long run. I think that's kind of what I'm saying. It's, that's interesting that it's coming up for the releasing stage like working smarter and trusting. And I feel like it's also like releasing the need that you need to be where you, where you think you, releasing the need to be where you feel you need to be, you know, because you can't really compare someone's chapter one to someone else's chapter two, where we've all come from a different past and we all do things differently. We all have beautiful, unique, creative talents and abilities, and we just need to use what we're really good at and the things that we're not good, then that's why we need to seek out help. I'm just trying to work out how this fits in with the releasing phase, releasing what doesn't serve you. I feel like this is about releasing the way that things have always been done. All right, wow, okay. How many cards do you wanna give me? Two, okay, that was very like, bah. Let's see what this one is. Ha, the seven of cups. It's like, which direction do I go? It's like, you don't need to have it figured out. You just need to have this trust in the universe. It's like someone saying this, someone saying that, and you're getting overwhelmed. It's like, what do you want? What feels truly best for you? Is it this one or is it that one? It's like seven of cups, there's like abundance. Oh, I know, cups is emotions. Yeah, this is like feeling, what feels right for you. That's still part of the releasing phase of the moon. And then the other card that came out with that one is the page of wands. <gasps> oh, that's lovely. That's so nice. Page of wands. This is like, cause we had what, we had the three of ones before and the knight of ones. Wow, we've moved up quite quickly. I think this is more like just saying like, this is what I have overcome. These are the challenges that I have faced and I am incredible, I am unstoppable and everything is working out for me. I feel like this is also about other people like looking up to you to be like, oh my gosh, if she can do it, then I can do it. 
Maybe this is you looking up to somebody else. Maybe the page of ones isn't actually you. Maybe it's like someone that you you really look up to. Like who do you take like, your inspiration from? Are you taking inspiration or advice from people that have the results that you want? Or are you taking them from your family and friends who are living a life that isn't in alignment with your highest good? All right, let me try and piece together this for the releasing phase of the moon. So it's like working smarter, having trust, using your intuitions as like your compass to let you know if you're on the right track or what feels good and what doesn't. And then I feel like this is also about like being in tune with the universe, but also releasing that you don't have to do it by yourself. I'm just gonna go with that. Let's move on to the disseminating moon. So this is asking us to receive abundance from expected and unexpected sources. All right, this is from Thursday. All right, angels, what do we need to know for the disseminating moon, please? By the way, this is a general reading. <laughs> so just take from this what feels truly best for you. I forgot to mention that at the start. Sorry if you're new. Wow, okay. Wow, the Queen of Swords. Oh, holy flip, this is amazing, amazing. Oh my gosh, the Queen of Swords is like grounding, nurturing, loving, supportive, generous. She's just beautiful on every possible level. She's about this beautiful transformation that she has overcome because the swords represents like um, any challenges. It's like she's just seeing the beauty and she's rising up. And that's interesting that that's coming in the receiving phase. That is a very big deal, by the way. So it's like, okay, we're releasing everything that doesn't serve us and we're using our emotions to guide us to where we need to go. That's for the releasing phase of the moon. That's the full moon in Pisces. And now after we have released it, we're like, I am where I am and it's okay. I am so grateful for everything that I have been through because it is literally leading me to where I want to go. It's maybe looking a little bit different, but I am incredible. Look at this beautiful face on her. Like honestly, she's just so beautiful. She's like got so many butterflies around her. There's so much new beautiful growth. I don't know what the name of these pink flowers are. I can't remember what they are. The name of them but if you guys know can you comment it below and she's got this big like um i see it as a moon and it's like decorated can you see this here i see that like it's bones but i see it as like the moon wow this is like receiving abundance this is like receiving peace because you have done the work in the full moon and you've released your blockages, you listened to my forgiveness heals, you journaled, you went out in mother nature and you just sat and you just were just being present in the moment. And you've literally gotten to a, a, a point of like internal peace. Jeez, that's a big deal. That's such a big deal. Because I know a lot of you have been working so hard on your blockages and like your limiting beliefs and like trying to reprogram your thoughts with higher vibrational no, reprogram your, sub your subconscious with higher vibrational thoughts. And this is a true testament of everything that you have done. Oh my goodness. This is receiving peace, peace in your heart. That is what's coming out. You're receiving peace. That is like the highest form of abundance that internal peace and that happiness and that stillness and calmness. Like she just is like beautiful. She's literally beautiful in every possible way. Whoa, let's get clarity for the disseminating moon and the queen of swords. What do we need to know, angels? One card. That one, okay. Oh my God. The queen of cups. The queen of cups and the queen of swords. Oh my gosh. 
you've overcome these challenges and you've overcome the emotional turmoil that has been like welling up in you for such a long time, you've got two queens. Let's just take a moment and say, oh my gosh, I am so grateful. I am so happy and grateful now that I am the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Cups. I am so happy and grateful now that I'm the Queen. You're the Queen of Cups. This is true freedom. This is this is like tr infinite trust in the universe. This is like allowing your emotions to guide you. What makes you feel good? What doesn't make you feel good? What is sucking the life out of you? For those of you that have been in some really uh, yucky um, relationships, there's been a lot because I've read some really, really sad situations recently and I'm like, oh my God. It's like, you've really done the work. You're like, you know what, Mel? I am willing to forgive. And you say, like you've released that pain and you've set yourself free and now you can feel that freedom Oh my goodness. There was another card. I have one separate, but I'm not too sure how that came to be. I can't remember. Let's just get some more clarity. The Queen of Swords and the Queen of Cups. What else do we need to know for the disseminating moon? What do we need to know, angels? Oh my God. Talk about a duo of power. Well, one card, there it is. This has been happening recently. It happened in the two girls that I read for yesterday. Their cards just started going like this. Oh my God. I think this is like the fifth time this card has come out recently. The Four of Wands. The Four of Wands. Oh my God. This is a celebration. This is a massive celebration about how far you have come. This is like leaping for joy, celebrating in the beautiful sunlight. Like the sun, it's like this, um, <laughs> the sun will come out tomorrow. Bet your bottom down there that tomorrow, come what may. Just thinking about tomorrow. I need to learn the words of songs that will be nice. <laughs> Tomorrow I love you. Tomorrow you're only a day away. This is so exciting. This is like a celebration. You are receiving so much abundance. Wow. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, let's get one card to summarize the week. One card to summarize the week. It's interesting because normally we only, we have three phases of the moon. This week we've just got two. One card to summarize the week of August the 27th to the September the 2nd. Just one, please. Actually, let me just quickly just shuffle that just to make sure. All right. Okay. One card to summarize the week, angels. What do we need to know? And I would like a song, please. Whoa. One card, please. There it is. The hanged man. We have to look at, I think we need to look at our pain from a different perspective. Instead of seeing it as like negativity, I feel like we just really need to be like, oh, thank goodness it turned out this way, you know? Instead of like being like, oh, ah, why do I need to change? Cause it's like this week is about working smarter, not harder. You know, stop paddling upstream, delegate, ask for help. I feel like you, I feel like, like really looking at your pain and saying, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I feel like when you do that and you really get to that place, 
that's when you celebrate. That's when you become the queen of cups, the queen of swords and the four of wands. Like what a beautiful celebration. I feel like this is really like looking at things from a different perspective. How can I make something better? How can I feel more joy in my life? How can I find more freedom? How does freedom look like for you? What does your dream life look like? Like, honestly, close your eyes right now. We'll do a quick little meditation. Breathe in. Exhale through the mouth. Breathe in. Exhale. Now what I want you to do is I want to visualize a beautiful wooden door. This door is going to lead to your dream life. Don't touch the handle just yet, it's not time. Around the archway of the door is the most beautiful, lush, green vine that is just blooming full of the most beautiful arrangement of purple flowers that you have ever seen. Now I want you to think about what is going to be behind this door when we open it? Put your hand on the door. Breathe in. Exhale. Turn the door and step through. What do you see? What do you see on the other side? This is what your dream life looks like. Where are you? Who are you with? How does it feel? How does this dream life feel? What does it look like? What does it sound like? What does it taste like? All right, my loves, open your eyes. That is a quick glimpse into the delicious goodness that you are literally working towards with every single phase of the moon, every single moon cycle that we are going through. You know, everything that you're going through right now is literally a blessing in disguise. Literally, everything is a blessing in disguise. I'm sending you so much love for a truly beautiful week. If you need help with releasing your blockages and you're feeling stuck, purchase my Forgiveness Heals. It's in my shop right now for $9.99 Australian. And please keep me posted and let me know what is this abundance that you are receiving in the Disseminating Moon. This is like inner peace. I just feel like this is all about inner peace in your heart in your body, your mind, and your soul. And this is a celebration of how far you have come. Like this is, I just feel like we just need to take a moment to just be still today. I just feel like, and I've never done that in Weekly Angel Guides. Normally that's in my live Q&A tea time on YouTube once a month, but this is incredible. This is about really looking at things with those beautiful rose tinted glasses. Look at everything from a place of love instead of lack or fear or scarcity. Everything needs to be looked at this week from a place of love. Thank that person that caused you so much pain. Thank that bloody employer for firing you. Thank that person for cutting you off. Like everything is a blessing in disguise. Imagine if that person didn't cut you off at the traffic and you had, had, had a head on car accident. Like everything is divinely timed. Surrender to how it's going to look because what is literally lined up for you is even better Literally even better than you ever could have possibly imagined like I just think about my life right now and where I'm at, you know, like Everything is so beautiful. Yes, I'm not living where I want to but I am here right now to heal my family blockages and it it's amazing it truly is amazing and the abundance that is coming from being like open and receptive to where I am instead of being shut off and be like, why the heck am I here? I want to move back to the Sunshine Coast. I'm, I don't feel that anymore. I'm like, I'm here to help heal myself, you know, and to be with my family. 
and to be in the room where I first started filming my YouTube videos like four and a half years ago. Like this is literally the room I filmed my first video when I like didn't even like blink for like three minutes in a video. Everything's working out my love. Surrender to the process, set yourself free. This is all about releasing your pain. I think I'm gonna call this week release and receive. All right, my loves, have a beautiful week. Comment down below. Let me know what came up for you, which card truly like struck a chord with you because as always, I cannot wait to respond to you. I'll be responding for the first hour. So that's 7 a.m. till 8 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. And yeah, also, if you're thinking about booking in for a reading, make sure you go and check my page. Readings are strictly limited right now because I'm preparing to create my one-on-one -on -one online coaching program. Oh, also, question. For the coaching program, I'm also creating a sleep meditation and um, redoing my seven, well, redoing the seven chakras um, for guided meditations. If you have any thoughts about how long you would like them to be, I'm getting a glimpse of around 20 to 30 minutes. The sleep one, I'm thinking of doing like eight hours. I'm not too sure yet. Um, but yeah, a lot of, I've had a lot of requests to do a sleep meditation. If you have any thoughts on that, that'd be greatly appreciated. And I just want to say, have a beautiful week, release and receive. There's just so much abundance coming for you. It's all about the way that you look at it. Anyways, my love, I'll talk to you soon. And yeah, I love you. I love you. I love you. Goodbye.